Hi everyone! Mayong gabi kanyong tanan diha sa Pilipinas. My name is Stephanie Halandone Credo and they call me Ate Panyang in Dumaguete, Negros Oriental. My husband and I are alumni, past peoples of St. Louis Golden Bosco. I continued to volunteer as a catechist and volunteered in DBYC Summer League, helping the brothers and postulants spreading and extending the liveliness of Don Bosco to our youth, even in the diocese. Then years after, I became one of their employees. It was filled with happy memories. My past experiences growing up in Don Bosco took me a few moments to introspect. I thought back to every experience I had and made me realize that I developed certain attributes influenced by Don Bosco. Those were glorious moments back then. Me and my husband are always grateful and proud in bringing the wisdom of solution spirituality wherever we go. The preventive system of education will always be part of us. Reason, religion, and loving kindness. I may not be dealing with the youth, but I am dealing with staff as well as patients in surgery. Same situation applies, reason, religion, and loving kindness. At work, there are so much conflicting ideas, so much frustrations, so much disappointments, but Don Bosco always reminds us, you will have to win these friends of yours not with blows, but with gentleness and compassion. I do agree with that. When this pandemic all started early this year, Everyone was panicking on how to protect ourselves from the unknown and unseen enemy. Not only in the hospital, but everywhere we go. We had mountain of doubts and piled up perplexities, which sometimes lead us to confusion in distinguishing right from wrong. I work in the operating room and my husband works on the thoracic floor with PUI patients and positive patients. Every day, rules and protocol change in the hospital. They created confusion and frustrations amongst the health workers. We have to be accountable and take measures to protect ourselves. It is so heartbreaking to see dying patients without their loved ones to hold their hands at bedside. So painful to observe their uh, increasing mental effects of the pandemic. Our health workers, are overwhelmed and would even request a day off because of the post-traumatic experience. Not only are we under enormous strain at work, but we also face the fear of exposing our loved ones at home with the virus that we bring from the hospital. That's why we are inclined to submit ourselves to tedious measures such as taking multiple showers in a day and leaving our used scrubs in the garage. Bisa tugno na kaayo ang garahi, amo jung kuhaon, amo ang sanina gikan sa hospital, o maderitso dahil mi sa sa maligo, aron lang dili na mga dala o matakda ng amo kaoban sa panimalay. Our mom, belonging in the vulnerable group at 80 years old, self-isolation and social distancing has taken an emotional toll on her. Our visitations are limited to video calls, and even if it's less than ideal, it will have to suffice for now. Being unable to physically see her is heart aching, but we just have to remind and let, it, let her understand that we are taking measures for her own good that's free of the virus. It is emotional, it is exhausting, it's overwhelming, but we have to persevere. I have to be honest, my prayer is much stronger this time. My wallpaper on my phone is the consecration of the home to Mary Help of Christians. It's an easy access for me to pray before leaving home. Ako na lang gibutang sa wallpaper karong sayun rin ako bisag asa makapangadjik ko anak. Connecting with my friends and solution fathers through social media helped me cope with stress. It inspires me to work harder because there are people praying for us. So my 
take home for everyone tonight is to remind ourselves, yourself, that you are not alone in this crisis. You are not alone in this experience. Many of us are fighting the same battle in different situations. All of us just need a little help to make it through. Be resilient, stay strong, and persevere. In these trying times, instead of asking why, why is this happening? We should start asking ourselves how. How can we be of great help to others? As a segue, Father Lan Gao's good night talk is a good reflection about how the worst situations bring the best of people. It encourages others to continue to be instruments of positivity and sharing good values. My challenge to everyone, with the Buscanian spirit in us, let's fear no hardships. Let's face it head on. After all, God has not given a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. God's grace is sufficient for all of us. His power is made perfect in weakness. He is our refuge. Let's try all the time for what is optimum. That is, doing ordinary duties extraordinarily well. Let's go the extra mile. Let us continue then to maintain social distancing. Let's stay safe and let's always stay healthy. Thank you so much.